Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on Drachmir, my now level 51 cleric. And we are in Nagafin's Lair getting ready to prep for our Ragefire event for the next day. So we uh, we got here, um, have a shaman to do the invis, levitation, all of that, slows and everything so we could kill the... Um, the giants on our way up here got some experience and uh once we got to the safe hall or safe corner i went ahead and camped out for the night and couldn't sleep so i got up probably around seven o'clock in the morning and from seven until spawn which is i'm i'm not gonna tell you guys i mean come on now Secrets. I was <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I'm not going to tell you, but it's not very hard to figure it out. Um, there's people that will tell you, but I'm not going to be those ones. Anyway, Rage Fire spawns. Zod Zodiac. Zodak. Zordak. However you want to say it. Um, so uh, here I am. By the way, here's frame of mind. I'm freaking out. He's spawned. You want me to hand in the pearl? I'm in my safe spot. Do you want me to hand it? No, we still have a paladin that's uh, AFK. No, are, oh my god, the it's not in the inventory anymore. Oh, okay, I found it. It's in my inventory. Okay, are you ready? Okay, we're ready. Go. <laughs> that's the whole mindset that's happening right there. Um, he ends up kiting it around the paladin, uh, Seniel, and um, brings it back to the group. I end up going ahead and getting healed and ready and just so excited for this fight guys i have to tell you that from the beginning whenever i started this quest to now at no point between those intersections did i believe that i would be in this chamber killing this mob at all i expected i would have to be paying 15k to get the heart or anything like that because i guess it was miss construed as to how hard it is to get it and how socked it is to get it honestly anytime that uh, if you bring a force with you and you just wait for the spawn people are going to leave you alone um I, maybe maybe it's not completely true i honestly don't know but whenever we had uh, aftermath or awaken or russell or uh, divinity or anyone come in they would just come in wave and just turn around and leave and we didn't have any issues with the turn in there was no hidden people standing behind uh, uh, behind uh, uh, Zordak or anything along those lines it was just a solid turn in and uh, and we ended up getting the the uh, FTE on them and that's amazing because I, I, like I said, it's been stressed to me this whole time that it's very hard. And that said, I have pushed pretty hard to get this stuff done. I have, um, from the time that I got the Burgle Crown, turned it in, and um, and got the the um, the coral for the plasmatic priest. To this this point in, point in time, it's been four days. So, a lot of that stuff could have been done um, earlier. Ixoblat is one of those things that you can get people to come out, and we could have did pr uh, the Plasmatic Priest. I noticed in my uh, last video, I kept calling it the pras uh, Prasmatic, uh, it, but I know now it's the Plasmatic uh, Priest. And um, we could have also done uh, Ixoblat the same night, but... Um, I kind of wanted to make sure that people were in it and wanted to do it. So uh, the next night we were able to get enough people to come together and we were able to do uh, Ixablat and Chardock in the same night. Um, and we were able to get scrolls for two clerics, one of them being me. And then we had another one that uh, was uh, saved for multi-quest we did um we went and did the turn-ins i got my pearl and um I, I, the night uh before this i asked if we could get people together to do it 
and um, we were doing another raid. So it wasn't able, we weren't able to get people here because we were still fighting mobs in, uh, in Halls of Testing. So we lost that kill, came in the next morning, and uh, as you can see here, we are now taking on a level 55 dragon <laughs> in, in, uh, in, in hopes for its heart. Now the heart always drops. I don't know what else drops. I know that Finn and Row armor does. I don't know if the Cloak of Flames or anything along those lines um, drops, but um, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to just uh, get this this thing to a point where we can do uh, cleric epics just by mobilizing the way we did here. So while we did this for me this day the night before we did um we finished the epic for uh two of our druids one of them right there is castile and then uh after this raid and after i did my my all my turn-ins we went and uh got uh the last part of the monk epic for another guildie so we ended up getting, we've been getting epics this, these last few days, and it's just been really, really fun. So we um, we got Ragefire uh, down pretty fast, I would think. I don't know what the average time is, but I think it took us probably about three minutes or so, maybe four, um, minus or, or plus or minus, but either way. Um, what is hilarious to me about this whole thing is that you see the the giant that giant is a pet and as many times as he runs from the fear it confuses me because fire giants are supposed to be highly resistant to magic I thought and here they are they're being they're just being pushed away by by a rage fire which is so um, so funny. So as you can see here, we have got her down to 20% and, uh, or him down to 20% and, uh, he is running. I was running. <laughs> so, um, we, uh, we get him down. We, uh, we punch him in the face, get him in the gizzard a little bit. And, uh, here it comes guys. We ended up getting the heart. We got uh, two sets of um, gauntlets of fiery might, uh, I think is what it was called. And we got one bracer uh, for, of Finn and Row, which went to our bard, Pirica. Or I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly. But um, we finished here, got everyone ported to Timorous Deep, and we went ahead and uh, did some turn ins. So here are those turn ins. We ended up uh, doing um, uh, Omat, go to him, and you hand him the heart, I believe only, if I remember correctly. So here's that. This is going to give you the third orb. And then we're going to go over to the beach, and we're going to hand, it in, uh, hand all three orbs in uh, to an Arcanite. Now... Whenever I was doing this, I tabbed out to check to make sure I was doing that part correctly because I thought at this point, this was where the Avatar of Water comes up and then I finish off the quest. But um, when I do that and I'm recording, it kicks out. And you can see here now I only have the one orb. It's because I didn't start the recording as soon as I got back into the game. So... But either way, you can see, you can see that um, I do have that last orb, and we're about to see uh, the Avatar of Water. Funny story, while we wait for the Avatar of Water to come up, uh, after the turn-ins and everything, um, XLTX uh, wanted to show how hard the Avatar of Water hit, and <laughs> he ended up getting, um, he ended up getting killed so fast that his his corpse was uh was standing up so that that is um that was amazing at the end of the video i will show you a picture of him standing next to his corpse it is amazing and um anyway here we go we're gonna go ahead and turn in the orb to the avatar of water 
And uh, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a nice little click in my hands, guys. Oh my goodness! So so happy to have this in my life. I love it. I'm gonna treasure it for the rest of my days. And um, yeah, this this was um this was a great great moment for me. So uh, you'll see it here. See it all. Look at it, it's glory. Oh my goodness. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. I will talk to you next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.